Hey guys, Troy Castellano here. We're at the world famous Muscle Shoals Sound. Um, I've been very fortunate to be able to record a song here today. We got Will McFarlane who played guitar on this and, and I'm just still like kind of uh, starstruck about the whole thing because the studio we're in today has had so much popular music recorded that infiltrated all our lives growing up. Um, you can just look it up, Muscle Shoals Sound, you're gonna find Leonard Skin you're going to find Rod, Rod Stewart, Paul Simon, um, Rolling Stones. I, I'm not going to go on with the list because it's, it's, it's out there and you can find it. But, but today I got Will who's playing guitar on here and my friend who I wrote the song with, Mark Narmore, uh, invited you to play on this session today and I'm like so thankful that you played here I honestly didn't know a whole lot about you but I knew you were kind of part of the tail end of the Swampers crew yeah, I got here in 1980, a little late to the game, but uh, Jimmy Johnson brought me in. I met him in L.A. I'd been playing with Bonnie Raitt for five years and just wanted to get off the road. And I loved Muscle Shoals. I used to wake up to the Be Altitudes record back in 72, which was I'll Take You There, you know, the Staples yeah, Singers, I'll yeah. Take You There, Respect Your... That what song's still prevalent. killer record. And uh, so I knew their stuff, loved their stuff. It was part of the roots. We, you know, it's like I say, jokingly, we all went to different schools together and all loved the same stuff. And, and Jimmy just said, we'd love to have you down here. I met him out there and he flew me down. We demoed some of my stuff. And I just thought, why am I living in L.A.? This is a great place to have a family raise your kids. Yeah, to raise kids. You know, so, I mean, in L.A., you can't get anywhere in two hours. Yeah. <laughs> and down here, I could get out of an Etta James session and be standing on third base coaching Little League in 10 minutes. This is why I came here, too. I'm from Minnesota originally, um, and that was what uh, an attorney friend of mine said, Troy, you need to be in Nashville, New York, or L.A. I wasn't going to raise kids in L.A. I'm not a concrete and glass guy. Yeah. And I came to Nashville, and I went, this is it. Yeah. I can have a little house on a hillside with a creek rolling through it <laughs> and a studio in my backyard. There you go. <laughs> but, but Will, um, yeah, Will played for Bonnie Raitt, Etta James, uh, Delbert McClinton. I mean, there's probably so many more that I don't know about, but you have permeated my ears through my whole life as well. Um, one of the questions I want to ask you is specifically about uh, Muscle Shoals Sound in this room. What What is one of your favorite memories of making music here? Well, actually, Actually, when I moved here in 1980, they had left this building and moved down to the river. So this was abandoned. This was abandoned for years. Taken over by the mice and stuff like that. And a couple yeah. of people rented it and used it for storage. A couple of people rented it, tried to make it a studio again, but it didn't get off the ground. They were down at the river, which was amazing. A couple of beautiful old naves, great rooms, oh, yeah. beautifully designed. And that's where I did most of my playing. But when they opened this back up, the first session I did in here, of course, you come in here and you feel the vibe. I mean, there's something, there's, it's not only in the water, in this room it's in the walls. Yeah, and the walls are just, you know, they're just brick walls, but but you just feel the vibe, you know. There's yeah. something where you realize so much great music has been played in here. It, 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 it really does have something. I. It has it, an effect on you. It really does. As does it affect your playing, you think? like I think, maybe yes. I naturally it. start to leave bigger holes. You know, I, I, I play less in here. He let the waves. I let just the, because it sounds so great, and let it go to the other side of the room. And, and, uh, but actually, the first session I did in here was for Kiefer Sutherland. Oh, yeah. The actor. Yeah. He has a band. It's real sort of Tom petty -ish. You hate to put somebody in a bag, I've but... I've seen a bit of his music in his but videos. he was in town. I think he was going to play a gig and realized, oh, my God, Florence is Muscle Shoals, so he booked a session. And it was very funny because he was a really nice guy and really humble. At one point, he, he was walking beside me and said, you know, Will, the amount that I don't know about this process is staggering, so any help you can give me. And I'm thinking, my God, this guy's saved... This is Jack Bauer. He saves the world every 24 hours. <laughs> Mr. 24, you yeah. Know, he's the designated survivor, but he was a super nice guy, and, and we did those sessions. And now we do periodic sessions in here, and I love it every time we do, you yeah. know, because it... It just... Uh, I sit down, I feel at home, I feel that the rhythm section, who I did get to play with for 20 years, you know? Yeah, um, just legendary players. And they're too. just so dear to me that when I come in here, I realize how much of their blood, sweat, and tears is in this building, mm -hmm. and it, it just makes me feel a part. Yeah, and like you're still connected to the whole thing. Oh, yeah, you know? yeah. And, yeah. 
I interrupt tours down here and tell them funny stories. All right. Thank you so much, Will. I appreciate it. I mean, it's been a pleasure I, to meet you, I, Troy. I'm going to get together one day and we're just going to talk guitars. No work involved. We'll Come on just, down. Uh, yeah. We'll sit in my living room and we'll plug into my little tweeds. I bought a tweed champ when I was on the road with now, uh, Bonnie and Jackson in 1974. You brought a couple of your go-to workhorses that are just the guitars that you love. Yeah. I'll bring a couple of mine that I've found throughout my lifetime. Maybe. We'll do that. Thank you so we'll much. We'll geek out. All right.